Welcome back to The Daily Lift, and I'm so glad that you're here with me today because today marks day number one of our four-week prayer challenge. And today and for the next month, we'll be focusing on the topic of prayer. We'll be talking about what it is, why it works, and how we can get the superpower to work more in our own lives. So if you haven't done so already, follow the link below download your own printable prayer journal and join me on this exciting adventure of faith and prayer. Have you ever thought of why you pray? What is the purpose of prayer? Are we praying to spend intimate time with our creator, to meditate on his nature, his love, his power, and reflect on our own lives as well? Or do we kind of go to God in those times of desperation only? And <laughs> we are just coming to him with a wish list of the things that we'd like to happen. Which one of these do you think God will respond to more likely? Did you know that there's different types of prayers? Paul tells us in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1, that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks may be made for all men. And here we see that there are different types of prayers and understanding the different types or the different parts of prayer will help us pray more fully in the way that God wants us to pray. Just like when my teens are much less likely to get a favorable, favorable response from me when they come to me after I've come home from work, they don't say anything to me. Uh, they don't greet me. They just ask, can I go do this? Can you take me here? Can you do this? They haven't done their chores yet. It's the last minute and they haven't even told me hello. What kind of response do you think they're going to get? Versus if they've taken care of their chores, they've done those things. When I come home, they greet me, they hug me, they say they missed me. And then we start talking about things that are in the future where I can plan and prepare and, and consider the things that they're asking for. This is going to get a much more favorable response because I'm teaching my kids Hey, doing things in the right order matters. And in the same way, doing these different types of prayers or parts of prayer in the right order can help our prayer life as well. And so I want you to remember it like this, ACTS, A-C-T-S, these four parts or four types of prayers. We have adoration, A, or acknowledgement. This frames our minds to understand the nature of God. We're acknowledging God's power, his nature, his love, his mercy, his grace, all of these things. This helps us say, hey, it reminds us we are going to the almighty right now. We need to make sure that we are framing ourselves in the right way so that these prayers are being heard in the right way. That is a C, confession or intercession. We have faults in our lives. And before we start asking God for stuff, we need to be fessing up to those things. We need to be spending vulnerable time with God, telling him, asking him for forgiveness, telling him that we are going to do better and asking his help in doing better. So that's confession. T is thanksgiving. This helps us humble ourselves. When we are thankful, it is hard to be angry. When we are thankful, it's hard to be frustrated. When we're thankful also, it helps frame that we are not in control, that we have to be relying on God, right? That we have so much that was provided for us and that our life could end tomorrow. We need to be thankful for all these things. And then once we have acknowledged God, we've confessed our faults, we have offered up thanksgivings, then we can start asking for things, <laughs> supplication, the, the things we ask for, both spiritual and physical in this life we need. And God will provide those things to us. But we don't need to just be asking for ourselves, but we need to be making sure that we are spending time praying for others and asking about others on their behalf. Which brings me to the verse of the day. James 5.16 tells us that the effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. I want to focus on three different words here, effective, fervent, and righteous. So first off, for a prayer to do much good or avail much, it has to be effective. We need to be doing the things in the way that God wants us to do them. We need to be including these elements and these parts in our prayers and not just asking for stuff. Because we see that James says in chapter four, you ask and you don't receive because you ask amiss, that you'll spend it on your pleasures. 
And so we need to make sure that we are being effective in our prayers, praying in the right way, fervent. This is great intensity of spirit. We need to be persistent in our prayers and they need to be uh, reflecting the sense of urgency or the, the circumstance or the matter at hand. Righteous, living our lives in the way that God wants us to live them will help us be heard by God. God does not hear the prayers of the sinner. He only listens to the prayers of the righteous. The Bible tells us this. And so I want to leave you with this thought. Prayer is so powerful. It's this tool that has been given by God to help align our hearts to his will. And today I want you to reflect on why you pray and how it impacts your relationship with God. Go love someone up.